Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome once again to FAPS Talk. Ayan. So, magandang 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 gabi sa inyong lahat. Um, it's another Monday evening for everyone and I would like to welcome you all for being with us, for joining with us once again here at FAPS Talk. But before, before anything else, um, we would like to thank... Of of course, FPS Media, our partner in this broadcast, and also um, Payoneer for always supporting FAPS Talk and FAPSCO, of course. All right. Now, everyone, if you have any questions, please reserve them later. You can... Um, you... Yes. Sorry. Ayan. Tingin daw sa baba ng camera. <laughs> okay. Um, mamaya kasi merong mga, meron kaming special guest, as in Guapong Guapo from Zilingo. And um, he will be telling us how we are we can earn online. Okay? We can earn from home. Parang um, mamaya na. Magkikwento na nga ako later. Okay. Now, um, you may like our page, by the way. Um, you can go to fapsco.com. Um, slash, uh, sorry, facebook.com slash fapsco.ph and you may also find us in Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, or visit our website, fapsco.ph and once again, my name is Rachel Rivera, I will be your host for tonight, I'm one of the co-founders of Fapsco, and with me is Ms. Sherlane Fortunado and Ms. Jehan Foro, one of the co-founders of Fapsco as well. Sherlane? Hi everyone, good evening. So thank you Para for being here. <laughs> thank you for being here. So it's one it's a wonderful day. Um maganda yung panahon ngayon. It's been several days na na raining, pero ngayon magandang maganda. Kaya maganda rin ang aking maghapon. Hindi ako matipid rush. Na, ano lang, medyo uh tawag tawag dito sumalida lang. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Nakapagpatuyo ka na naman ulit ng ano, Labada yes. Ross. Yes! Nakap Nakapagpatuyo ulit ng Sinampay. <laughs> Sinampay, oo. <laughs> Good evening everyone. Um, it's uh, makulimlim night dito sa Zamboanga. Kanina medyo ano, mainit yung panahon. Pero ngayon para nag-uumpisa ng uh, dumilim. Buti na kaawi ako on time. Kasi pag ako inabutan ng malakas na ulan sa kalsada, mamaya pa akong alas din makakauwi. Sobrang traffic. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Ganun? Ganun pala kagrabe ang traffic yeah. sa Samuanga. Um, oh, grabe. kasi may mga, well, anyway, ano, may mga sige. hindi naman siya traffic pero may mga lugar kasi na madaling, ano, madaling bahain. So, kailangan kong iwasan kasi mababa yun sa sakin ko eh. So, ganun. Mm, okay. Buti na lang umabot ka on time. No, ayoko nang patagalin kasi alam ko excited na rin silang lahat kung sino yung guest natin. So, let me introduce to you first, Mr. Franco S. Aligaen. Um, Franco has an expense, extensive experience working in the local e-commerce scene in the Philippines. He started his career with Lazada, o oh, diba? Bongga! Back in 2015 as a brand partnership manager and building the electronics category that you know and love today. He then explored more Mobile and prog programmatic advertising with AdSpark, a fully owned Globe subsidiary, to develop a well rounded experience with digital marketing. Heeding the call of e commerce, he went back to Shopee as their partnerships manager, growing the fashion, beauty, and toys, kids and babies category. And dami niya na palang experience, so, and dami niya ng tinalo na na companies, lahat yun in, um, involved in e commerce. Right now, he's working with Zilingo, managing the marketing efforts of their direct to consumers platform, Zilingo Shopping and B2B Zilingo Trade. Now, without further ado, let me, let me please share with me as we welcome. Mr. Franco S. Aligain. Hi, Franco. Hi. Thank you so much for that kind introduction. Uh, hi, Rosh. Uh, hi, Jan, and to the rest of the Popsco team. Thank you for having me. We're very, we're very honored and very happy to have you tonight. Now, um, tatanungin ko na, unang-unang tanong, wag na tayo magpaligoy-ligoy pa kasi alam ko excited silang lahat. Can you tell me more about Zilingo Shopping and Zilingo Trade? Yeah, of course. Um, so with Zilingo Shopping, uh, this is our direct-to-consumer um, platform. So if you're familiar with the likes of Lazada, Shopee, and Zalora, um, ganun siya mag-operate. So a customer browses through their website, tapos may mga marketplace items din kami doon. So with Zilingo Shopping, uh, meron kaming fashion and lifestyle items, 
Um, we recently had our eight, uh, August 8th eight sale. Uh, we also do some campaigns with influencers. Uh, we did one recently with GMA uh, Capuso Teen Stars. We did a live stream with them. And yeah, so it's mostly, it's mostly that kind of platform if you're familiar with um, the ones that already exist here in the Philippines. And then kapag dating naman sa Zilingo um, trade naman, uh, this is more of our business-to-business B2B platform where uh, people who are trying to start their businesses or um, people who are looking for wholesale suppliers can go through our website and see um, our different selections in terms of FMCG, medical equipment, um, and many more categories, including fashion. So, nandun din yung mga MOQ namin, nandun din yung pricing, um, and then of course, uh, if you want special quotes, and if you have any questions, you can also reach out to our website, sa Zilingo Trade PH, on Facebook. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, no, um, the top line difference between the two. So, recap lang ulit. Uh, so, for Zilingo Shopping, it's for your shopping, for uh, you hunting exclusive deals for lifestyle and fashion. Tapos kapag Zilingo Trade naman, it's more B2B, more wholesale. So, kunwari, for those entrepreneurs who want to start a business, and naganap sila ng mga suppliers for maybe fashion, lifestyle, uh, and anything under the sun, they can explore our um, catalogs online. Rosh. Wow, that's very nice. Yes, Jan? <laughs> Nagsistock ako dun sa ano, zilingoshopping.com. <laughs> Just to learn. Ayoko na. <laughs> Parang mapapaad to kahit na naman ako. <laughs> Ganda na yung interface niya. <laughs> Ang ganda niya. Parang, Parang ano siya, anlinis niyang tignan. Para siyang Shopee na mas organized. Tignan. Kasi si Shopee, ayoko pumupunta sa Shopee na website. Kasi... Ayoko, naguguluhan ako. Ayoko nung maraming eshiburete. Pero ito parang ang ganda-ganda ng website ni Kuya. <laughs> Ayoko mag-add to cart. <laughs> Would you like to ask the second question, Jan? What's your name? Um, I'll ask na siguro. So, we have another question for you. What um, do you yeah, think? Yeah, ask... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, ko na Jehan. Hindi gusto ko nang ano So this is a purely uh, Filipino-owned business, ang Zilingo. Um, so yung Zilingo is not a Filipino-owned business. We have other offices sa may Singapore, sa Thailand, sa Indonesia. So, nagsimula kami, um, actually, yung story ng Zilingo was because yung founder namin, si Kitty Bose, um, when she was in Thailand, uh, she was going around Chatuchak Market. Uh, so, the huge changi dun sa Thailand. And she was going around and she was wondering kung paano niya bibigyan ng platform to mga sellers na to. Kasi, uh, you want to help them be a bit more modern and be a bit more digitized eh. And considering na panahon ngayon sa COVID, a lot of businesses need to or are forced to actually go digital. So, yun yung concept behind it. Um, nagsimula siya sa Thailand and then nagkaroon kami ng office sa Singapore, sa Indonesia, and then of course dito sa Philippines where we have um, these two businesses, Zilingo Shopping and Zilingo Trade. Nice, nice. Actually, sabi nga ni Jehan, gusto niyang mapaano, mapa-add to cart. Pero ako, interested ako dun yeah. sa business side of it. Kasi, um, ang GICT, uh, we always partner with the MSMEs, the micro, medium, and small entrepreneurs pa, sa mga digital yeah. jobs, PH trading programs namin. Um, how do you think that these MSMEs can partner with you um, in terms of uh, whatever, you know, whatever products that they're selling online? Yeah. So, when it comes to partnering with us specifically, you know. Um, and I, I think partner is not the right word there. Uh, for partnership, baka we're talking about the, the DPI e-commerce office na. Uh, pero, of course, uh, <laughs> ano, I think yung pwedeng gawin ng mga MSMEs who are looking for um, ways to source online, di ba? Kasi I can imagine na 
especially with the lockdown today, um, a lot of the physical visits and a lot of the um, interactions that are usually that are that usually happen offline are being brought online now. And then what these um, businesses can do is explore nga, um, and ask us as well, uh, or they can they can definitely shoot us a message and share with us kani mga categories na hinahanap nila. And then we'll then of course like suggest to them kani mga bagay din sa business nila. So say for example, um, uh, MSME has a fashion business. And with the recent pandemic, nawala yung mga, yung, nawala yung access niya to his suppliers. And he's looking for um, a bit more of a easier access to supplier that he can tap online and very quick. And that uh, and someone that can, that can do parang nationwide delivery. So uh, you, when you try to like uh, reduce all of that into a very simple solution, Yung nangyayari is, they can go to our website. Well, there are two paths they can take now. They can go directly to our website. Just i-check out na nila yung nahanap nilang fashion items doon. Or they can talk to um, our Facebook chat bot. And then from there, may magta-take over na customer service representative para i-assist sila dun sa selection namin, dun sa MOQ, sa pricing, and of course dun sa delivery. Because we, the delivery um, in Metro Manila, we do Transportify and Lalamu. And then if it's outside of Metro Manila, um, that, that's something we'll have to discuss. Na lang. But yeah, uh, nice. does sure. that answer the question? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Shirlane, you want to ask the next question? The next question is, what do you think is the Lingo's edge over its competitors? Uh, thank you for that wonderful question. Yes, siyempre, o, di ba? Yung website. Maganda yung website ka, Jehan. Gusto ko yung website na maganda. Ano pa ang maipagmamalaki nyo? Gusto ko yung website. Nakaibahan nyo. Kasi, di ba, siyempre, mas kilala ng tao yung yung Shopee, sa mga, regarding sa shopping platform, yung Lazada. So, ano, yung kakaiba sa inyo, bakit, kayo ang dapat nilang ano pagshoppingan or i-check nila ngayon yung inyong website. Yeah, of yeah. course. Um Shemper with uh, thank, thank you for that wonderful question. Buying myself more time now. Um <laughs> but no, with 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 Zilingo entering the market. Alam naman namin na marami kaming competitors. Eh. Uh it was no secret to us that we were up against Lazada, Shopee, Zalora and a lot of them ha- have been backed. Si Zalora is backed by uh, Ayala, sina Lazada is backed by Alibaba, and then si Shopee by C. Kami, yung funding namin, although umabot naman kami ng ano, 300 plus million USD in terms of funding, um, yung edge na gusto namin sanang, or yung gusto namin i-deliver dito sa Philippines is an end-to-end solution. So when I say end-to-end, gusto namin na kapag nagsimula ka with your business, Simula ka sa Zilingo trade. So say for example, magsasource ka sa amin uh, ng mga items. Tapos kapag gusto mo mag-set up ng uh, website, um, not website specifically, pero kunwari gusto mo bigyan ng magandang photos yung mga products mo. Meron din kaming marketing as a service para pag uh, in-upload mo yung mga items mo on your website, maganda na siyang tingnan. So we also have that as a service, no? And yung rights dun sa mga photos na yun are yours na. So, kunwari, nag-open ka ng, um, nag, nag-sign up ka with us, bumili ka ng mga warehouse, uh, ng mga wholesale items. We can also offer the, um, yung marketing service para you can also upload this to Lazada, you can also, also upload this to Shopee, and you can also upload this to Zalora. So, all of the rights are yours na. And then, pagkatapos nun, pag na-set up mo na yung website mo, um, of course, we'll also help you on board with Zilingo shopping naman as a platform. And then from there, uh, I think in yung edge namin na parang all the way from the inception of your business hanggang sa humarap na siya sa customer finally, in yung edge na gusto namin ibigay sa mga MSMEs here in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Parang all-in-one package kayo talaga. From Maganda, no? start to oh, finish. Para sa may mga product pa- talaga. Mm-hmm. Maganda. Maganda. Mm-hmm. Maganda yung concept ng business ninyo. Mm-hmm. Talagang maraming matutulong, especially this time of pandemic. So, syempre may mga tao na hindi nila alam kung gusto nila mag-business, but they don't know how. Pero dahil nandiyan kayo, you can help them 
para makapag-start and to set up and you have all the yeah. the technicalities and everything na for them. Okay. Yeah. And of oh, course, yun yung, yung gusto ko na part. Yeah. Yung gusto namin gawin no is um offer a platform that really deals with just ano legitimate partners. So we want to make sure na lahat ng pumapasok sa system namin is verified and we want to review yung business nila, yung practices nila, yung history din nila para paglabas niyan sa market and paglabas niyan sa mga websites, um, verified and legit siya. Para, of course, protected din yung buyers namin. And uh, uh, in the end naman, yung gusto namin mangyari is we offer a technology platform that offers the entire ecosystem nga. Thank you for that. <laughs> intriga ako. Ang galing, ang galing. Franco, actually, yes. mangi-intriga ako. Kasi yung tanong natin, ano yung edge ni uh, Zilingo over um, Shopee and Lazada, which is pareho mong uh, naging past employer. Kumbaga, ex mo sila. <laughs> yes. Intriga time. Uh, ano yung different uh, with your work in with ano, with dirty laundry. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, hindi naman. Ano lang, um, ano yung mas masaya? Ano yung mas masarap? Bakit ka lumipat? O, uh, what makes it different? Um, nag-offer ba ng mas uh, malawak na, na ang tao dito, na room for growth ang Zilingo? Mas masarap bang kasama yung mga, ka, mga katrabaho mo? Mas maganda ang office? Mas masarap ang food? Anything. Huwag mo nang isipin yung hindi mas maganda doon sa kabila. Pero yung what what makes you come to work and excited every day? Yun. Um, with all of the platforms I've worked with, and I guess we'll make the I don't know, para correlation that these are all of my past partners. Uh, a lot of them, or most, well, each one of them had something special to offer. And what I don't want to do is make um, one appear better than the other, because all of them had uh, very special lessons to teach me. So with with, um, I guess, kikwento ko na lang journey, you know, with Lazada, it was definitely about um, getting in touch with small um, shop owners and making sure that they felt represented and heard in our website. Kasi with the big brands, it's easy. Eh? Uh, it's easy for them to bulldoze um, everyone else with the large budget that they have. So that's uh, that's what we did with Lazada. And then when when it came time to shopping, naman, it was more or less the same thing, but this time around, it it felt it it dealt uh, I dealt with different categories, naman. So it was the same mission and objective, making sure that um, these people were heard and that their um, business objectives were being taken care of by Shopee. And then come Zilingo, naman, um, of course, I saw something special that they were bringing um, an especially new technology into the Philippines. Uh, no one's no one's seen this before, and I don't think anyone uh, or any other platform does B2B the way we do B2B at least, and how we connect all of this together to offer a technological solution that um, I think uh, Zilingo only offers right now here in the Philippines. So yeah, I hope that answers it, and I hope uh, I make, sh- uh, and I hope you might access ko, quote-unquote, uh, or ano well, <laughs> <laughs> <Nakabubo na. laughs> so, I'm curious lang ako kasi parang kasi... ano may may may, may curiosity like kanina ko pa iniisip ito while while you're talking Franco and while I'm listening to everything yeah. that you're saying um what led you to this path kasi ang bata-bata mo pa so parang um there's there are a lot of avenues open for you so what led you to e-commerce and specifically to you know, helping MSMEs per se. Kasi parang nandun talaga yung focus tong Zilingo ngayon eh, is to help the MSMEs um, go online. Yeah. So what made you decide to really focus on this, Mish? Um, what made me decide that, uh, well, thank you for that question. Uh, for me, it's it was more about trying to see where I wanted to see the Philippine market, uh, what direction it was taking, or if not that, what direction it should take. Uh, back in 2015, I think, we were still just starting out with, there, were all, there was almost no e-commerce or no concept of e-commerce at all. Uh, when Lazada was, when I was with Lazada then, parang, it was more or less 
it was more or less um, just us who was in the playing field. And I knew that uh, as small as we were, I knew that the potential for growth was really there. It was uh, it was just a matter of time before all of the other e-commerce platforms would be coming in and would move the Philippines into a more um, digitized and a bit more of a mobile first nation, no? Instead of a uh, instead of a culture that mostly promotes um, mall shopping. So we wanted to like really like promote a culture where you can shop from home, avoid the stress of traffic, and get the best deals and still get what you want. Because uh, I think the notion before was that um, you had to settle for less than when you were shopping online. But now almost everything is online. You could pretty you can pretty much get your groceries, you can get your electronics. Um, I mean, I, I have been getting appliances online as well. So it's pretty much everything. <laughs> and this time around, it's ano naman, um, who would have thought that you could do wholesale B2B online? So the possibilities are really endless. And it's really, uh, and that's what I saw when I was starting out in this field and in, in this niche. Um, initially, it was not, I didn't see, um, myself working with MSME so much, but you're forced to deal with them. Uh, you're forced to work with them eh, uh, because of the nature of your business. And I saw that, um, especially that, especially since um, MSMEs take up so much of the um, Philippine business landscape, um, I wanted to help them and make sure that they were ushered in into the new digital um, phase of the Philippine shopping or retail landscape. So nice. I like that. Nice. So, oh. That's That's so nice. Nice. <laughs> Miss Universe ka na. <laughs> Yung mga, mga question five. natin at Top answer five, nila yeah. parang ano eh. <laughs> pang oh. Mr. Universe na question. Meron ah, pa kami um, another question syempre pang oh. Mr. Universe ole. So ano ang pinaka-unforgettable okay, na the lingo experience mo? Your most unforgettable. <laughs> <laughs> Unforgettable Zilingo experience. Ito na may fast talk na ba to? <laughs> Hindi pa. Wala pa to. Hindi pa. <laughs> Hindi pa. Uh, <laughs> Hindi pa. <laughs> uh, sige. Yung my most unforgettable Zilingo experience. Let me think about that. Huh? Oh, definitely when we did our, uh, no, um, this was just last year, when we were doing our launch with um, Alden Richards, so nagkaroon kami ng fashion line or at least nagkaroon kami ng exclusive launch for Alden Richards um, new fashion line. So lumabas siya sa Zilingo Shopping and then nagkaroon kami ng event sa, Val- sa The Palace. Uh, I still call it Valkyrie eh, kasi hindi yung nakasanayan ko. But in The Palace, we had an event. So it was such a, it was such a new experience for me kasi with, with my past experience, I've never really handled um, fashion and or events or my exposure to it was very limited. So to see all of that, I mean, to see Alden as well in person was pretty much, you know, pretty much a good experience for me. And, and seeing how all of this ties into or seeing how an offline event can tie into um, online sales and how it can um, really drive awareness for not just for Zilingo, but also for Alden Richards as well and his new line of clothing. So, uh, that was one of my most unforgettable experiences. You can also check out the collection. I think yeah. it's still there. Uh, but I'll have to like double check. <laughs> okay. Hanapin ko. Hanapin ko. Oo. Marami may paborito kay Alden. Ito na ako doon. Oo, kasi ako, hindi ko alam na, syempre, um, Hindi ko alam na naging ano rin pala si Alden sa Zilingo. So okay. So marami kami mga question pa sa so medyo yeah. maganda ka na. <laughs> so we have a okay. question pa okay. here. Okay. <laughs> oh, hindi na hindi na para kay Alden. So syempre um during just journey mo, so syempre hindi naman lahat is napaka maayos, panatag and everything. So meron ka rin ba mga struggles na na mga nararanasan sa journey mo? Kasi kung titingnan namin, 'di ba, you're so young parang uh, ang dami-dami mo nang na, naabot, ang galing-galing mo, parang ganon, di ba? <laughs> Kasi, um, meron ka bang struggle din na naranasan sa buhay mo? Um, hmm, 
struggle pagdating sa struggles do you mean career wise or mostly career wise and in terms of like um this industry um anything kung anong gusto mong i-share <laughs> kung anong gusto mo kung anong pwede sa kung anong pwede sa, sa public um <laughs> Um, when it came to my own struggles, no, especially uh, when it came to my own struggles, especially when it came to this industry, I think I think a huge part of it was really like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, and what I mean by that is trying to see or trying to really imagine yourself that, um, or trying to imagine yourself that uh, as small as we are. Uh, as small as this industry is, there is room for growth. A lot of people will be uh, impacted. A lot we will shift the business landscape here in the Philippines. Um, it was hard to see that at first, and you really had to, you really had to like uh, light your own candle and walk your own path. Because we were uh, we were uh, we were I was pretty much part of the trailblazing generation of e-commerce here in the Philippines, and. Uh, constantly trying to remind myself that I was working for a much larger goal, uh, a goal much larger than myself. I was trying to help um, sh- uh, help all of these MSMEs realize that um, offline stores, malls, aren't the end all and be all of retail and shopping. And it was really, it was really a challenge to convince them because a lot of these M- uh, MSMEs tend to be very old school. Eh? And you know, you know, it's very old school. There's a lot of red tape. You need to have like a certain set of connections in order for you to like put up a business. And as as we tried as we as we tried to innovate and as as we tried to move forward, we wanted to show them that you don't have to have like such an extensive network of friends who can sort of like help you create shortcuts in 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 putting up a business. You only need a platform that supports you. A platform that will enable you, and a platform that will make sure that you are well represented. So it was mostly through that journey where I had most of my um, valleys. Pa, in ter- when we're when we're talking about peaks and valleys in in this industry. Ang galeng, <laughs> napaka ano niya, um, napaka articulate niya, and then basta I, I like the way that um, you communicate things. Para lang ako ng ano, para ako nakikinig ng audio book. Ganon yung pakiramdam. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> ba ang galeng galeng, makakatuwa. May nagtatanong lang dito Franco. Sabi niya as a young entrepreneur, maybe she she wanted to uh, she treats you as an entrepreneur kasi nandiyan ka na sa marketing and uh, e-commerce. What is the number one challenge that you have faced? Bata ka pa naman pero mukhang meron ka ng maraming challenges that you can share to the viewers. I wait. Um who wait, whose challenges are we talking about? Um, you as a person, as an entrepreneur, as somebody who has been exposed in e-commerce and um, in B2B platforms such as this one or B2C platform, ano yung pinakamatinding challenge na, na naranasan mo? Right. Um, personally, and I'll, ano na lang, I'll, I'll flip the script a little bit and, and talk about what I usually see when it, when it comes to um, first-time entrepreneurs. Uh, I won't talk about my experience. I'll talk about um, most of the merchants and entrepreneurs that I've seen who sign who sign up with Lazada, Shopee, and even with Zilingo. And a lot of their struggles um, really is setting up a setting up a brand voice that really resonates with their assortment. And I think what I mean by that is, um, of course, like everyone's going to put up their own shop, the back. And this shop um, more or less reflects two things. It'll reflect your own set of interests. So uh, say, for example, your woman who is into skincare. Uh, so because we're not in Korean skincare and you want to start selling all of the trendy skincare stuff online. The back. So you start with that. And then at the intersection of that is... How, how do you now develop your own voice as a merchant and as an entrepreneur? What kind of edge are you bringing to the table so that you can capture uh, your target demographic? Because 
you're not going to be the first one to think of it. Eh? I'm sure of that. Well, and it's going to be the exception where you will be the first one ever to come up with um, a category that no one has been selling it online because it's it's pretty much saturated at this point. So what you need to do now is really set yourself apart, build a brand voice that will capture your audience. Um, so if you're taking the example of Korean skincare, how can you now reach out or how can you now best speak to sk Korean skincare enthusiasts, especially when it comes to your own assortment? Uh, and when you figure that out, and when you select, uh, and when you go to like Shopee, Lazada, and Zalora, and when they see that brand story in your shop, I think that will resonate much better um, versus the regular entrepreneur. Because anyone can, anyone can select a set, uh, anyone can sell uh, Korean skincare online, and it's pretty. Uh, and apart from the battle of who can sell it at the lowest price. Um, there's also the point where, as a customer of this particular merchant, what else am I getting out of it other than the low price and other than um, me shopping from this platform? Maybe it's an extra gift or two. Maybe it's um, little notes that you insert into the packaging, thanking the customer. Freebies, uh, those little gestures that say, this is my brand, this is my store. Uh, and this is the kind of entrepreneur that I am. I care about my customers, and this is why you should buy from me. <laughs> so I hope that answers the question. Oo, ang galing kasi talagang on point siya sa kung ano rin yung nakakita rin natin, di ba, usually, Rosh, sa yung mga struggles ng mga MSMEs locally. It's talagang yung branding and finding your brand voice. And the moment that we teach them how to, you know, find their book, voice, parang doon sila, nag, doon parang may nag-click na something sa kanila na mas, mas nakakapag-talk sila in a more personal way with their audience. Ang galing, ang galing. Yes, yes. Awesome. Parang yes. Uh, ma may i-relate din natin sa mga online professionals, di ba? Sa mga courses kasi natin, we always teach them how to um, how to find their own voice, how to find their yes. own message, di ba? Para they can be yeah. different. Diba? Kasi exactly. it's setting yourself apart. It's how to stand out and not just to... Para mo yun, parang pare-pareho na lang kayong nag-online selling. Diba? Kung mm -hmm. if your brand is, sabi nga ni Franco kanina, skincare products, what will set you apart from all of those other skincare products? And paano ka rin compete for example, for a Korean skincare products? Diba? Especially kung, yeah. alam mo naman ang Korean skincare products right now. Diba? So, it's really uh, yeah. that uh, brand story and then that brand message. Nice. Do you still have other questions, Jen? Wala naman ako question, pero ano lang, sabi ni Charlene Filio, I think siya yung nagtanong ng question kanina, so that answers very well. Thank you, Sir Akiti. You rock. Ang galing. Pero may isa pa rin, ano, sa viewers po natin tonight, ah, sorry? No, I think she got my name wrong. Oh yeah, I think she got your name wrong. Sir Akiti. Sir Akiti. You rock. Kaya hindi ko na masyadong in-emphasize yung pagbasa. <laughs> Kala ko hindi mo mapapansin. <laughs> yeah, but uh, for our viewers po tonight, uh, just engage with our um, with our live. Magtanong po kayo sa comment section. Um, especially if you're an MSME or aspiring entrepreneur watching right now, take this opportunity to ask uh, Franco any question that you want to ask. If you want to take your business online through Zilingo, magtanong na po kayo habang meron pa tayong time. And we also have another question from Mas. Pray, uh, what does the Philippines, oh, where does the Philippines stand in e-commerce? Are we in step with the technology? Um, what does the future look like for e-commerce in the Philippines? Daming questions. Wait, let me count that. That's mm -hmm. one, two, Three, four. <laughs> so those are four questions. <laughs> I'm also following the comments here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes. So, okay, yeah, I'll get to it now. Uh, let's know. Uh, let's answer first. Um, okay. Where does um the Philippines stand in terms of e-commerce? And there's a lot of ways to go about that there. Um, pero I'll try to like weave an answer that sort of like combines all of his questions together. 
And kasi meron din dito ang question na what does the future look like for e-commerce? And do you see more foreign players coming to establish business here in the Philippines? Um, so our point of comparison, we can always look towards, um, well, there's also the ASEAN landscape no, at large. And with the ASEAN landscape, it's more or less the same players. Eh? It's always Shopee and it's always Lazada. And with a few exceptions. Uh, that's or when it comes to the e-commerce landscape, that's uh, those are the major players that we're working with. And then when you look beyond the Panba, uh, and when you look beyond the ASEAN nations, you can see players like Amazon. And I think his question is like, do we see Amazon coming here in the Philippines and setting up shop? That I can't say for sure, but I've seen, I've seen, <laughs> I think I've seen them um, set up a few offices. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, do we expect Amazon to open up here in the Philippines? Yeah, that's a very high, that's a very like high possibility uh, because I know their office is here. They have an office here for their customer service. So I'm predicting, and don't quote me on this, I'm predicting that they will probably open up a direct-to-customer business here in the Philippines. You have been coded. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, very. Uh, thank you very but much, Franco. But that's exciting, I know. Uh, exciting. Ang tawag doon? Um, yeah. Future. Kung that's sakali talaga mangyari. That's an exciting thing to look forward to. Yeah. Sana, oh, future. Oh. Yeah, future. When we're, we're, when we're looking, when we're considering the future, no? Uh, but e-commerce, um, when you're when, when you're talking about like shopping e-commerce, it's not just the platforms anymore. Because eh? you have Lazada, Shopee, and like the Lord and all of the, all of these things. Like um, some brands are also op- uh, some brands are also also opening their own stores online. Na. And sometimes uh, if it's not available on the platform, it's on their website, and you can get it delivered to you as well. Uh, in the same way. I guess the difference now is um, it's minus the it's minus all of the perks that come with the platform. So, say for example, like points, um, you know, you could get you can get to leave a review that others can see uh, to a much larger audience, uh, and sometimes you free delivery and you the ease of like shipping and logistics. I think in the difference. But right now, I think everyone is really moving towards online. Like if you're not part of a platform, you're supposed to like. Um, establish your own online website because that's how um, customers will get to you. Uh, if yes. you're, if you're, say for example, if uh, I'll, I'll cite a personal example. So I've been looking for a weighted blanket for the longest time, uh, and I could not, for the life of me, find anything in either Greenbelt or in SM Aura or. Uh, power plant none of those places had like um, weighted blankets it was only until uh recently na target up and then uh facebook ads with a weighted blanket and i and i remember checking as well if this was available in lazada shopee or all of these like e-commerce platforms it was only available on their website so um if if you're not interested in putting up um your own store in a in a platform um, setting up your own shopping on your own website is complete a completely valid strategy to um, move forward. Yeah, but say for example, you need help with photo shoots, videos. Um, uh, say for example, if you want to help, if you want help with like a photo shoot or something, uh, Zilingo Trade can do that for you through our marketing as a service. We can do um, video editing. Uh, we can shoot a commercial for you. Uh, so anything that you might need as a business in terms of uh, uh, in terms of um, the kind of like uh, media that you see on your website that we can help with. I love that. Kaya lang kami kasi ni Jehan, service ang ino-offer namin, hindi products eh. Pero I love that yeah. support kasi yan ang kailangan-kailangan natin ngayon. Sana you can also offer the same service to FAPSCO members and other online professionals na naghahanap ng, alam mo yon support. Please, uh, make uh, do a package on that. Maggawa kayo ng package para sa mga service, service-oriented businesses naman. <laughs> Di ba, Jehan? Of course. Um, yes, we're, we're pretty, yes, please. We're, we're pretty open <laughs> to having that kind of discussion with you guys. 
Yeah, and thank you. And oh, Shailene's back. Thank you. Hi, sure. Hopefully we can come up with something uh, and really help um, uh, MSME start their business, especially through Zilingo. Or like yes. uh, want to be entrepreneurs, start their own business. Yes. Not MSME. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Franco, meron lang kami isha shout out dito si Vincel Valenzuela. Um, he emailed us. He said, "Hi, good day. I'm Vincent, an officer of a school organization, CYBL, Chamber of Young Business Leaders. I saw your online event today at 7 p.m. The Zilingo e-commerce platform for entrepreneurs. We are sharing webinars, events that students can benefit. So we want to post and share your event to our Facebook page, and also asking for permission to use." your poster oh and to share your fb live stream on our page later oh thank you so much we're so honored so thank you so much i'm vincel and hopefully every monday 7 p.m you get to check out um the episode of fops talk because we have a variety of guests and a variety of episodes to help out um in the online workspace uh yun lang muna sa akin shirlaine baka gusto mong basahin ng second shout out Yung second shout out naman para sa ating top fan. <laughs> Meron na tayong fans, hindi lang si Jehan. Pops ko mismo may fans. <laughs> Kasi sa ating tatlo, di ba? Si Jehan ang pinakamaraming fans. So, shout out. Yes. Oh, shout out kay... Um, say, palalakihin ko. Kasi medyo maliit. Alam mo naman, pag ang mata ay... <laughs> <laughs> May salami na <laughs> hindi masyado makita. So, shout out sa ating top fans. Si... Naku, bakit ganun? Hindi ko pa rin makita. <laughs> At Tori Lennon. Ayun. Thank you, Ross. Kaya Tori Lennon. Siya yung ating top fan. Okay. Ayan. Next question. May top, may top fan badge na siya, Kamo? Mm, meron uh -oh. na siya. Oh, congratulations. Ang <laughs> Ayan. Um, may tanong ka pa, Jehan? Kasi pag wala na, baka pupunta na tayo sa, ano, sa Popstock mamaya. So let's check Actually, out the question. Actually, ako from... wala. Pero sa comment -ask, section... Nai-ask nyo na yung mga nasa comment section kasi kanina mayroon ako mga nabasa doon na question. Si De, yung kay, yung kay Mas at saka yung comment ni Charlene nabasa na. Pero yung kay Dennis, kaka-ano niya pa lang, sabi... Uh, Franco, could you give us the steps how to be partnered with Zilingo? Hindi pa parang naisagot na to kanina or hindi pa? Uh, let's say I do have a business that I want to have an online presence yes. and now I'm thinking of Zilingo. Will you uh, uh, please give me the short way possible of your process? Interesado si Dings mag-business. Short way possible talaga. Shortcut. <laughs> Shortcut talaga. Kakasabi lang ni Franco na there are no shortcuts. Pero go. <laughs> Okay. Um, as much as I know, as much as we're trying to consolidate the, parang e-commerce parang timeline, de ba? The shortest way possible, uh, is to message us on Facebook, um, and ask us, um, what in particular do you want to, uh, how 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 do you want to partner with us? Is it going to be, um you asking for photo and video services? Is it going to be you um, looking for wholesale suppliers? Is it you wanting to list your items on our website? There are so many ways to partner with us. So a suggestion of Dennis uh, Pagio is to message us on Zilingo Trade Philippines and tell us how do you want to partner with us so we can help you out the best way we can. Ayan. Naku-curious ako. Yeah. Who's handling your website? Ang ganda ng graphics. Um, colorful, oh, uh, but not too much. Seamless. Um, ang ganda niya. Who's handling it? Is it you? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, a, it's a joint effort between me and the marketing team. So, uh, I have my hand there. Uh, some of those are from me. So, you can see there dun sa Zilingo trade na page, no? Uh, may mga catalogs kami na sinashare. And ito yung mga bagong pasok namin na merchants for wholesale. So may kita mo yung MOQ, may uh, minimum order quantity, I mean. May kita mo rin yung pricing. So may kita mo rin yung different categories na available sa amin. Uh, so say for example, may cooking business ka, like meron dyan um, catalog for 
um, cooking wine. And if you're running, say, a Sari Sari store or a convenience store, meron din kaming selection for um, lactosid, um, mga FMCG items, that sort of thing. So just go through our gallery and may kita mo yung selection namin doon. Yeah, ang galing yeah, kasi ang pinakauna na ba right napansin ko when I, when I had a look kanina sa store. Um, yung nasa baba, these are, these are not really, um, kumbaga hindi siya yung super sikat na brands. Like Kim Store, hindi ako familiar with this. Um, parang hindi siya yung, yung parang leading na brand with this, with the, with the niche yeah. na pinafocus ng mga store na to. Although si Silver yes. Works, so, I don't know So what we, who we're working with mostly are legitimate um, um, wholesale suppliers as well. So these are not really parang flagship brands that are top of mind for most people. What we aim to do kasi with Zilingo Trade is um, give potential or people who are looking for legit wholesale suppliers um, as much branded items as we can, so they don't have they don't necessarily have to be the most sikat brand, but what we can promise is high quality items at very low MOQs and competitive prices as well. Um, okay, see so Kim's so store, she's known yeah. she's known for electronics. Eh? She's known for um, releasing some of the more niche items. At least my experience with her is when we um and I remember this, uh, with the Google Nexus 5, none of the local retailers were selling this particular phone. But she was the only one who had it then. So she's really known for like delivering uh, powerful electronics at very competitive prices. Uh, and then with Silverworks, uh, they're yes. one of our like best, best sellers. Uh, they're really known for like high quality like jewelry. Uh, at very low prices as well. Madalas din yun mag-sale sa website namin. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. Nakita ko na yung ano. <laughs> Gusto ko na ano yung sa Alden na ano. <laughs> ako din. Nakita ko na siya. Nakarating na tayo doon. Oo. Order ako sa Tabia at saka sa Panganay later. <laughs> but yeah. So, Pero, yeah. So, the website is ano. Ano na talaga. It's a joint effort between like the marketing team and of course yung production team namin. So, they, they, they really work hard to make our website look good. And the same quality that you see on our website is what we can offer for our uh, marketing as a service. So if you need, in, uh, if you need help talaga with photo production, uh, video production, if you need banners for um, e-commerce website, message us and we can help you with that. <laughs> Ang galing. Pero may ano lang, kung may gusto lang akong balikan na konti, Franco, uh, if you don't mind. Kasi kanina, yung, when you were talking about uh, Kim Store and your other, uh, yung mga ibang MSMs that you partner with, parang you really also partner with wholesale um, brands, not yung mga top of mind na brands. So, ang naiisip ko na possible ano dito collaboration is between yung mga online sellers sa Facebook and yung mga nagbibenta sa shop ninyo, right? Do you have that kind of partnership? Yes. Do, you, do you think they have that kind of partnership? Kasi ang alam ko yung online sellers are mostly just ordering wholesale and reselling it to the to the general public. Yes. So um, do you have that so kind of offer question... also? Um, right. Or do you have that um, kind, of, kind so of program it... to help yung mga resellers? I'm sorry, napuputol kasi. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. So just so I understand your question correctly, no? um, what you're asking is, um, how do we partner with Facebook resellers? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Or do you have a program that is like uh, focused on partnering or, um, you know, yeah, partnering with Facebook resellers or yung mga, let's say, yung mga small time resellers that don't really have their own established businesses yet? Yeah. So... Um, there's really, uh, in terms of like a program program, uh, it's it. Uh, what we do instead is uh, we reach out to uh, Facebook groups. So say for example, mga divisoria buy and sell. Um, and if it's a geo geo specific 
kind of buy and sell through, through each other as well. So, kung wari, if, um, if it's, uh, yeah, kasi sila, uh, we really want to help yung mga Facebook resellers eh. Uh, and how we do it is we reach out to them. Kami na, kami na mismo yung lumalapit sa kanila na um, if you're a business that, kunwari, is a fashion business and you're looking for um, a new supplier of um, fashion items and say, for example, you're outside of Metro Manila, we can deliver to you. Um, we can offer you like competitive rates uh, at very low MOQs. So, it's not a program per se. We've we've already been doing that like since day one. We've been reaching out to different Facebook groups, different uh, resellers, to help them be aware that um, this option exists. That um, there is a platform out there that uh, so, sort of like uh, collates. Is that the right word? Uh, collates, uh, aggregates um, all of these legitimate wholesale suppliers and present it to them in a way that's easily understandable, especially if you're a first-time entrepreneur. Uh, so if you're a seasoned entrepreneur, this should be very easy to you. But any, uh, anyhow, well, it will still guide you throughout the process. Uh, but for new, if you're just a Facebook reseller, um, yeah, if you're, you're, a new, you're a new Facebook reseller, we can definitely like, help you with um, your assortment and provide you with um, legitimate suppliers. Because in your problem, eh, um, there's really not much, there's really not much trust when it comes to the Facebook online marketplace. Parang you're really you're you're trying to like uh, place your trust in someone who hasn't really been verified or who hasn't gone through the usual verification process. Uh, yeah. Uh, or someone who hasn't really gone through the usual verification process. And the kind of, at the, so going, uh, I'm answering two questions here. So the kind of, another edge that we bring talaga is we offer these Facebook resellers um, verified and legitimate wholesale suppliers. So they can rest easy in, uh, when it comes to not just purchasing like really good quality items, the entire process all the way, uh, all, all the way from selection to those items uh, arriving at your door, um, Zilingo is a platform that you can trust and that we provide like legitimate um, and verified suppliers. I hope that answers that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, Thank it really you. does. Sure, it really me does. Thank you. I, like, I love it. I think wala na. Nasagot na. Ang dami-dami nang nasabi sa ate ni Franco. <laughs> Para nakwento na niya lahat. Bentang ba? Pop stock na tayo? <laughs> Oo. Oh, <pop> stock <laughs> yeah. okay. Go ahead, Shehan. Sino ba? Sino magtata? Ako na ba? Okay. So, yeah, ako na ba? Parang dami. Oo. Oh, oh, no. Ayan. Kumanda ka na, Franco. Oh, nag-refresh. <laughs> nag-refresh yung copy ko. <laughs> Ay, na na so, Tinako, si question number one coffee or tea oh wait uh, i-an na lang natin so we're a uh, series of questions so, tapos isang sagot isang tanong lang yeah. yes no explanations yes, whatsoever yeah. uh, coffee or tea coffee <laughs> yeah wine or beer uh, wine, definitely. So Morning or night person? <laughs> definitely night person. Um, number one, online tool you can't live without. Online tool I can't live without. This is personal na, ha? Um, online tool I can't live without. God, wait, man. <laughs> wait, I'm still there. Online tool. Um, Telegram. Telegram. Because that's how I keep in touch with all of my friends. Oh. Regular home office attire. Regular home office attire. T-shirt and shorts. Although, I can't see the shorts ko ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, where do you go when you're bored or tired? Um, pre-quarantine or during COVID? Wala na ako during COVID. Wala na tayong during, choice. <laughs> um, where do I go? What is that like a physical place? I don't go out there. Eh. 
So what do you do when you're uh, when you're bored? Corner? <laughs> uh, what do I do when I'm bored? Hello. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So what do I do when I'm bored? Okay. So since since I can't really go out, uh, I can't really go out and visit my usual places uh, during during COVID. What I usually do is I try to occupy my time with a lot of reading and a lot of audiobooks. Reading. Okay. So that will take me to the next question. May may Okay. So uh, what would your pet say about you? If we ask for a reference, that I will be your favorite person ever. Oh, okay. Ah. All right. Um, describe your life using film title. Describe my life using what again? Film. Film titles. Film titles. Um, describe my life in film titles. Wait, 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 wait. Let me think of a film first. Wait. I'd like to think my life is a Studio Ghibli film. So I will say uh, Spirited Away. Oh, oh I like that! I like that! Gusto na ka lang ko yun! Hindi ako familiar. Parang gusto ko i-search. Maganda siya. Parang cartoon siya, pero may maganda siyang kwento. Isi-search ko mamaya yan. Tsaka yung Studio Ghibli, usually may mga lessons talaga siya. May mga lessons. So I hope a lot of people got some lessons yeah. from me today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure kami rin, kami rin. A lot. We learned a lot. But we still have more questions. Uh, no, actually, tatlo na lang. So, eh, dalawa. If your life is a book, what's the title? If my life was a book, what would be the title? Um, Moby Dick. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> if my life was a book, what would be the title? Um... <laughs> Ano na lang, the giver, the giver. Mm. Oh, hindi ko pa nababasa. So, uh, who ko or ako, ako din, hindi ko pa rin nababasa, pero it was the book that I saw first dito sa shelf ko. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nanchit pala. Right. Um, may, 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 may kopya pala siya. Okay. So, what, who or what keeps you motivated? Mmm... During these times, um, yeah. definitely like having a solid support system of friends. Uh, yeah. Lalat na we're all stuck in quarantine and we're, we, we don't really have yung mga places or people where we usually go to recharge. So yung mga friends na nakakausa mo online, yeah. uh, you keep in touch with them, update, update kayo uh, every now and then. That's what's keeping me motivated. Oh yeah, thank you so much, Franco. I really actually learned a lot from you tonight. Um, dami ko pang gusto itanong, but you know, one hour is really <laughs> not enough. So, um, yeah. Ron, Charles, meron pa kayong any? Uh, do you have any messages you'd like to share with our audience or with Franco? Sa akin, um, thank you, Franco. <laughs> na pinaunlakan mo ang aming pag uh, pag anyaya sa iyo. Di ba tagalog na tagalog? <laughs> so, yeah, thank yan, you very yung much. Yung makasabay sa iyo pag sobrang tagalog. <laughs> uh, marami kaming natutunan. Kesonyan kasi ako kaya medyo malalim ang tagalog. Marami kaming natutunan and we learned a lot more about your platform and I think yung yung mga audience din natin marami silang natutunan sa iyo and thank you for sharing everything. Of course. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. How about any parting message, um, Franco? Because uh, last, uh, ano tawag dito? Last, na nasagot mo na lahat ng questions nila, but you may have a message for them na gusto mong maritain sa kanila for tonight. Right. Um, my parting words will be: uh, If you're someone who's trying to create new streams of revenue, especially in these turbulent times, uh, we can definitely help you with starting your own business your online business, or if you're looking to create um, an extra layer of security uh, by adding more um, assortment to your business, we can definitely help you, uh, help you with that as well. Uh, and on top of that, uh, on top of like you creating more revenue streams and creating more uh, safety nets for your financial well-being, um, you can also follow us on Instagram. At, that's at ZilingoTradePH. And you can also find us on Facebook at ZilingoTradePH. 
reach. So um, reach out to us. We'll help you along with your journey. And if you're an already established parang, um, uh, MSME, we can help you definitely with a lot more things from photo, video production, um, with new wholesale suppliers, even better assortment maybe, um, that we can help you with. So those are my, that's my part of the message. Thank you so much, Franco. Naalala ko yung guest natin last week. Diba, Jehan? Um, Because she was selling jewelries naman. Baka pwede mo silang yes. i-connect. <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, yeah. Sige, sishare ko kayo ni ano, Cecil yung link na Zilingo. Oh. Cecil. Yeah. Mas maganda yun, mas bongga yun kasi yung mga jewelries niya sa Zilingo mapupunta. Oh, di ba? Something that you cannot, you know, simply see in mahirapan. Shopee or... Uh -oh. Zilingo can really help oh, them kasi hindi nga teki yung MSME ni Jehan. Yes, we can definitely At saka imagine ko yung 1.7 million na jewelry set tapos mapupunta sa website ng Zilingo. Come on, problemahin nyo kung paano nyo ipipresent. Yes. Diba? Ang ganda. Yes. yes. Nakakatuwa. Oh, sige, 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 yun lang yung parting sige, sige, message ko. Miss Cecil, if you're listening. Uh, diba? Yes, Miss Cecil, if you're listening, you better partner with Zilingo. <laughs> and to any other MSMEs out there, um, if you're looking for a platform where you could bring your products to, um, Zilingo is helping with the brand and um, with, uh, with finding your brand message and your brand voice. So, matutulungan nila kayo. Something that even us, online professionals, are having a hard time doing. So, dun, ngayon, dun, yun pa lang, panalong-panalo na yung support na yun. So, hope that we can see Zilingo flourish um, as like Lazada and like Alibaba and like all the other e-commerce out e e platforms out there. Kasi, um, even if it's, even if Zilingo is just a new player, um, I believe na hindi, hindi natin masasaturate ang e-commerce industry. There's always something new that we can, you know, bring out to the table. And um, Zilingo is a very fresh, new platform that has a lot to offer to the MSME. So hopefully you can check them out. Yun lang. Thank you so much for your kind words. Right. So I Charlene? Think for tonight, huh? Yeah, si Charlene, I'm going to close for tonight. Go okay. ahead. Okay, so thank you very much, guys, for watching us. And hope to see you again next Monday. So please like our page, uh, fapsco.ph. And this is a national-based cooperative for online professionals. And you may also find us in Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. So um, if you have any takeaways in tonight's show, please share this episode so others can learn from this too. And thank you for... FPS Media, our media partner na who's giving us itong napakaganda nating setup, di ba? And of course, Payoneer for helping us make this show possible. And join us again next week for another show with another special guest. So for our Papsco family, let's keep growing together. Bye! Let's keep growing together! Bye, Bye everyone! Bye, everyone! Thank you, Franco!